Hello everyone and welcome back to Decoders. I am Type Prishi and in this video I will show you how to make your Ubuntu desktop look like Windows 10. Before beginning the video I want to tell you that we have made a Discord server where you can chat with us and get support. So make sure to join our Discord server using the link given in the description below. One more thing, there is a bot named as Aptaha which is made in India. So I think you should use it as it is very very good. So now let's begin the video. First, we have to install an app called as Gnome Freaks. If you don't know what is Gnome Freaks, it is an app which is required to change the theme and the icon pack of Ubuntu. To install it, open up your terminal and type sudo apt install gnome dash tweaks type your password and hit enter type y and hit enter The installation of Gnome Freaks is completed. Now we have to install some extensions and some theme and icon packs from the web. So close your terminal and open up your favorite browser. All the links and commands used in this video will be given in the description below. First we have to install an extension called as user themes. It is an official extension which is needed to apply the themes. When you open this website, you will see a pop-up like this. To use the GNOME extensions, you have to install the browser extension too. To install the browser extension, just click here. Continue to installation and add. If you use Chrome or any Chromium based browser, it will automatically install it from the Chrome web store. Now reload the website. Here you should see a switch which says off. Click on it and click on install. Now it says on means that the user theme extension is loaded. Then we have to install another extension called as dash to panel. It is used for the taskbar which is used in windows. Same process. Open up the link, click on off and then click on install. Now you can see that the upper dock and the left dock is removed and we have a single taskbar like menu on the bottom. Then we have to install another extension called as arc menu. It is used for the start menu of windows. Go to the website, click on this button, click on install. Done. Now you can see that there is a menu here. The installation of extensions is now completed. Now we have to install some theme packs and icon packs. First we will install the theme pack. It is named as Redstone. Thank you for Boomerang Projects for making this. Due to Boomerang Projects it is possible for us to make Ubuntu look like Windows. When you go to on this website click on download and choose you want light or dark. 3.2.zip is light and 3.2-dark.zip is dark. So I will install dark. Click on download and save it. Download it. Then we have to install an icon pack. Use the link in the description named as 10 icons. It is made by Boomerang Artwork 2. Click on download and click on 1.0.zip. Click on download again. Download it. Yes, the download is completed. Now the things which we needed to do from the web are completed. Now let's set up these things. First open up your terminal and type sudo nautilus. What is nautilus? Nautilus is the name of the file manager which is default installed on Ubuntu. And why we do sudo nautilus because when we do sudo nautilus it allows us to see the custom files and protected files which are in the core of the system. Now open another window of file manager. 
We have to manually transfer the themes from the download section. The folder I will show you now. Go to file system root. Click on user. I will full screen it so you can you can see it clearly. Then share. And here, search for icons. So icons is here. You can see that all the icons are here. Then open the other window. Here, open up the folder where you downloaded it. First, we have to extract the icons. So the name of the icons is Windows 10 1.0. Do extract here in downloads and just drag it from here to here. Done. Now, we will transfer the theme. To transfer the theme, exit from the icon section and search for themes. The folder is here. Open it and you can see the themes which are default installed. Open up the download section again and extract the file which has the theme. For me, it is Windows 10 Dark. Same process, drag it from the download section to the theme section. Done. Close this and close the file manager. Here, close the terminal. You will see a warning like this, but just close it. We have completed all the transfers. Now, we need to set up all these things. First, we will apply the theme. To apply the theme, click on this applications menu and then open up GNOME Freaks. When you open up GNOME Freaks, click on appearance and in application, choose Windows 10 dark or light, which you have selected. See the theme is upgraded. Then for cursor, keep it as it is. In icons, choose Windows 10 1.0. Now you can see that all the icons are changed. In the shell, also choose Windows 10 dark. Now you can see that this is also of the Windows theme. Now let's set up the taskbar and the start menu. To do that, we have to use the extensions app, which is default installed when we install any extension. So go to the applications menu and you can see an app known as extensions. If you do not find it, you can just search it. Open it up and click on the dash to panel gear icon, which is on the left side of the on off switch. Here you can see that there are many types of settings. I will set up it as per my choice, but it's your personal choice how to set this up. So I will make the panel thickness a bit less. 38 is okay for me. Then panel length, I will keep it 100% and I will remove the show applications button by clicking on visible because we want to set up the start menu using the arc menu extensions. So I've, I've turned this off and also make sure that the activities button is also turned off. After that, you can make many tweaks like Intel auto hide, but I will keep it off. Then you can select the style app icon margin. If I lower it, you can see that uh, the space between them is reduced. I will keep it six and icon padding if you want to reduce. I will keep it two. Yes, it's fine for me. Then in behavior, you can choose what you want to show on the taskbar. I will keep it as it is. Close. Now you have to click on the gear icon besides the on or switch of arc menu. In the settings, the, uh, the main settings are already set up, but we have to edit some settings too. First, display on display arc menu on all monitors. Turn this off because when you connect more monitors, then it will be helpful. Then menu layout, you have to click on modern menu layouts and choose windows. Click on apply. Now you can see that it looks very very much like windows. We also see the ABC sections here. When you go to the button appearance, you have to click on browse icons. Here you can choose a custom icon from here too. But as we are making it look like windows so we will click on distro icons here you can see that there are many many different types of distro icons if you are a diehard 
if you want to make it really really look like windows then you can keep the windows icon but i will keep it the ubuntu icon because if i keep the windows icon it is because i will not like the windows icon in ubuntu so i will keep ubuntu but it's your choice what to choose close this and close this boom now i can see that our ubuntu desktop looks very very much like windows i will show you by opening the settings the file manager and the terminal you can see that it looks very very much like windows if you are windows user and if you want the windows wallpaper here then you can just download it from the web and apply to apply when you download it from the web we have to go to the settings and in background and you have to add the picture from here if you download it i have not downloaded it so that's it for today's video thank you for watching the video stay tuned to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the notification bell goodbye